Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Have you ever wanted to go geocaching? Well, if you do, stay tuned because I'm going to show you step by step how to find your first geocache. We're going to make it really easy and really fun. Thanks for watching. So first of all, before we get started, I'll tell you all this. There are going to be spoilers. I don't know how to go out and find a geocache for you guys and not give spoilers. So there will be a spoiler. Number two, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up at the end of it. And if you also wouldn't mind, click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Let me show you all the geocaching app on my phone. We're going to figure out which geocache we want to find and go find it. So you guys can just load up your geocaching app. Green ones like these are the ones that I have not found. So what we're going to do is just a little bit south of here. There's a little area called Indian Creek, okay? And there is a geocache out here near a place that I've gone before called the Burnt Bridge. I don't know if I can get back there because we've had so much rain lately, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna get on the map and find yourself a geocache to go find. We're gonna go try to find the Burnt Bridge. Now, you can get geocaching for free, okay? Uh, you have to buy the app, which I can't remember what it is. I'll put the price at the bottom there, but it's really neat. You can also get a premium membership, which gives you access to, to more caches. This is the main screen. You can see it gives you a difficulty, basically how hard it is to find a terrain. Also how hard the terrain is to get there. And then the size, this one happens to be an extra small. It'll give you a description of everything you need and some attributes like beware of snakes, whatever it might be. If there's any tradables inside, It'll tell you that as well. So you can hit start. It's going to start our navigation there. So we're going to head down to Woodworth. I know that I have to snake around this way to get to this spot. So stay tuned. And once we get close, we'll come back. All right, guys. So we are out. I'm trying to keep y'all steady here. It's saying I'm 277 feet. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Here's where we're at. Okay. So we're walking in that direction. Down here is how many feet to the cache. Okay, and we're just going to keep walking straight down there. All right, we're going towards what we call ground zero. Ground zero is as close as you can get within GPS range. So, you know, GPSs are not perfect by any means. So they're going to get you to the general area. And I highly suggest that once you get to ground zero, you put your phone away and you just start looking. So this is an area where there's an old burnt bridge. And this is kind of neat because I've never actually been out here. So this is where 134 feet. So you're just following basically the map on your phone. So you can see when you get to really close, it says you're getting close. You just hit okay. And we are very close right over here. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. So this is obviously an old burnt bridge. This is what I would call ground zero. Okay. Obviously we are someplace where there is going to be a geocache. Now I would say it's either going to be over there or associated with this sign over here. So let me set up the camera and I'm gonna go look for it. Now y'all can hear me because I have my microphone on, but you wanna basically think if you were a geocacher, where would you put it? Now I would put it on this sign. So we're gonna come over here and look. Well, let me show y'all what I see. So you are looking for anything that is suspicious or out of place. And let's see if I can show y'all here. But back here on this post, there is some string right there. So I'm guessing something's hanging there. Let's find out. So if we come around here, let's see what we find. Well, there you go. There's your geocache. So I'm gonna open this up, sign the log. To show you guys, you can see it's showing I'm 27 feet behind me, I already found it. So, just give you a little bit more view of this app, okay? All this information. Now, it has a hint, let's see what it says. All right, so the hint says sign, so that gives it. So you don't wanna look at the hint unless you have to. And then what you wanna do over here, you can look at activity. This will tell you, okay, so the last couple of times before, it was not found but the cash owner came and double checked that it was there. So you can use the uh, activity to make sure that it's there. Any waypoints they'll put here. So there's the posting of the Burt Bridge. And then whenever you're ready to log the geocache, you just go here to log geocache. You hit found it. 
you can put whatever you want here. A commonly used phrase is TFTC, which is thanks for the cash. And hit post. So we have 449 total fines. And that's how you find a geocache. All right guys, so that's how easily you find a geocache. Find it on your app. Again, you can download the app uh, for a certain amount of money. It's free to find all the geocaches that aren't premium once you get the app. You can also look things up on the internet at geocaching.com. I highly encourage you guys to get to geocaching. I've never seen this area before and it's a pretty awesome place, um, you know, just down from a boat launch. And I would have never found it probably if it wasn't for geocaching. So go check it out. Uh, appreciate all the support here on the channel. We really like geocaching, so I hope you guys will go out and try it. If you do, leave me a comment down below. I also have an introduction to geocaching. I'll leave a uh, link up here for you guys to check that particular video out. It gives you everything you need to know about geocaching, what it is, and, um, and why you should get involved with it. So thanks for watching Paleo Hiker MD. Stay tuned for more videos soon.